this is biotechnica and you're listening to india's first life science podcast the voice of biotechnica as we all know our planet is facing n number of environmental issues pollution water scarcity climatic changes etc being the major contributors but among these the biggest contributor to environmental issue is overpopulation so welcome you all to a new episode of podcast on overpopulation the human explosion explained from the house of biotechnica not only over environment but it is also having a greater impact on the standard of living global economies and availability of resources and land when you see around yourself like for example in your day to day life when you visit railway station airport vegetable market road everywhere you will find immense crowd at any peak of time and in case if you are residing in a metropolitan city you will also find huge crowd over there as well very strange right earth is made up of human beings without us this planet would be nothing but a barren land but at the same time if present in excess it has its own negative impact so overpopulation is this really a big issue what you all have to think about it well in my opinion yes it is and i agree with it to a greater extent because availability of natural resources won't be sufficient for the growing demands and ultimately it paves the way to pollution poverty unemployment etc there are a number of reasons behind overpopulation and i think one of the prime reason could be lack of proper education no doubt our country is under progress in terms of development but still you can see there are many areas across the country which needs to be improvised that is there are still people who are residing under poverty line they should be brought up and must be given a better standard of living have you ever thought why still many areas are facing poverty and some are even facing below poverty too why and again the core reason is climbing population because even today the people residing in villages believe that having more children means having big family it's like an extra hand for earning more so that they can fulfill their basic requirement more easily or more conveniently in fact this thought has been incorporated in their mind like an ancestral tradition i'm not saying they are right neither i'm saying they are wrong it's no use of saying right or wrong instead of that or instead of saying them to go for a small family why can't we make them aware of the present scenario our country is facing today instead of restricting them to have less children one should encourage them to go to school make them aware of the value of education work for women empowerment and last but not the least give them education regarding birth control and how this is going to benefit in the growth of our country i think in this way their concern and understanding towards the country will increase they will be able to understand the pros and cons of having small or big family so far i talked about the people who are uneducated and how they are related to population growth then what about the people 
who are residing in urban areas or in other words one can say who are educated nowadays we have more advanced technologies in the field of medicine we are having good medication facilities as well due to which many untreatable diseases are getting cured due to the availability of many life saving drugs proper treatment and vaccination people are able to overcome different types of diseases even the dreadful diseases like cancer can be cured more effectively when compared to earlier days thus longevity has been increased or in other words one can say mortality has decreased of course it's highly desirable too i agree with that then what about the resources will it be enough to meet the demands of growing population and what has be done to fulfill the demands even natural calamities will hardly have any effect over the population graph because if you recently visualize some months back kerala faced a huge flood not only that few years back people faced tsunami in the year 2004 in the year 2016 uttarakhand faced forest fire all this have led to the death of number of people but do you think does it have any effect over population growth definitely not because birth rate is maintained at a constant rate no matter whatever happens life wise there is a huge impact of environment over population how let's see agricultural yield should meet population demand and this can be achieved by either intensive farming or by clearing the area to create new land which is otherwise known as yes deforestation but again deforestation is having negative impact as well because carbon dioxide absorption will be reduced and this is like adding fuel to the fire meaning increase in the greenhouse gas problem not only that it will also lead to habitat destruction and extinction climatic changes unexpected seasonal changes has disrupted crop yielding and harvesting and this was once quoted as one of the biggest challenge in human history another major effect includes lack of fresh water no doubt our planet is having optimum level of water but still it's insufficient to meet the demands of the need because of the total availability of water around 2.5% can only be utilized for consumption it was reported in the year 2016 that around 15% of the world's population was under water stressed zone and it is estimated to increase up to 50% by 2030 adding to that it was also predicted that about two third of the population will be deprived of water by the year 2025 last but not the least any guess yeah it's global warming compared to the amount of carbon dioxide that is present in the atmosphere forest is having its double amount but what's the use people are clearing it for their own benefits and due to that around 25% of carbon dioxide is released into the atmosphere like i mentioned before adding to greenhouse gas problems thus i feel population is not only about the number of people who are residing in a particular area rather it is a combined effect of 
fertility rate mortality and migration now how these three are correlated see it's a fact that failure in family planning ultimately leads to low income which in turn it's not sufficient to spend money over education and due to which unemployment crops up this is in case of rural areas when it comes to urban area there is a huge competition among each other because most of them are highly educated there is a tough competition among them to get a particular job which further leads to brain drain because they are unable to pursue the desired job which they are aiming for so lack of good job encourages them to migrate to other country fertility rate even though it's lower but when compared with other countries it is still higher any idea regarding current population of india you all might be aware of the fact that our country is seventh largest country in terms of area and in terms of population india ranks second position if we compare our population growth from 2001 to 2011 we will find that the population growth was found to be 17.7% which is equivalent to an add up of 281.5 million people to the existing population and according to the data it was found that the population is doubled from the past 40 years and you know what the day won't be far away when our country will outcompete china in terms of population maybe within couple of decades as we all know china and india being the most populous nation with around 1.4 billion and 1.3 billion people respectively so when we compare to china it will not be wrong to say that one out of every six people is an indian currently the growth rate in india is 1.08% and most probably there are high chances that the population size may increase up to 1.53 by the end of 2030 it was estimated that by 2024 india can overtake china on the other hand nigeria which currently ranks 7th in terms of population is growing in a much faster way indicating or predicting that it can outcompete USA by attaining third position in terms of population before 2050 when comes to density india holds 31st position in the world in our country Mumbai is the largest city followed by Delhi, Bangalore, Ahmedabad and Hyderabad. When it comes to population, UP ranks first of having 200 million people. You will be amazed to hear that in the year 2011, the population in UP was so high that if it had its own rights UP would have been the fifth largest in the world followed by China, India, USA and Indonesia in terms of population. These are the consequences we faced today or facing today because of overpopulation. So what measures should be taken by the government or the individual to combat this My first point is via social measures first. Social measures in a way like making people aware of the marriage age that is already fixed by the law 
that is 21 for men and 18 for women. To make them aware of women's status, that is, they should be aware of the fact that women are not only meant to be within the four walls of home, rather they should learn developing both mentally and socially. In other words, we can say independently. They must be provided with sex education and make them aware about the health issues that arises due to frequent pregnancies and make them aware of the use of contraceptives and protection. And from economic point of view, more employment opportunities must be provided for rural areas, that is, by developing improved agricultural practices, setting up of more of industries both in rural and urban areas, so that they can improve their standard of living and they will not think for migrations. In my opinion, a part of it can be solved by government by implementing tax benefits, meaning by reducing the tax for the family who has single or maximum of two kids. Since by nature, humans are, we human beings are more inclined towards money and this may have some positive impact. Thus, overpopulation is not simply a problem that can't be resolved. Rather, it's a problem which can be sorted out if people, NGOs, government will work hand on hand so that every single human being can get a good quality of life. By doing awareness programs, campaigning, we can implement the things which I mentioned before. Once people realize that lack of family planning, unemployment, depletion of natural resources, etc. are the root cause of overpopulation, I feel people themselves will start taking initiatives to combat overpopulation. So with this, I am winding up this episode of podcast. Thank you.